That's it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro. That's so, Serena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. As you can see, I'm sitting here with a hoodie on in my bed, eating spaghetti. Because I made spaghetti yesterday, and I'm just going to keep eating it until I'm out of leftovers. Because now I live alone, I'll be having hella leftovers, so I can eat that. I, I don't have a problem eating the same thing over and over and over and over again, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, food is food. Period. And I got so many gift cards for my birthday um, that I keep using them on lunch. So <sighs> instead of me taking my lunch to work, I just eat my leftovers for dinner. Because regardless, either way, it's either I buy food for dinner or I buy food for lunch. So which one's it going to be? Because I can't give up both. So yeah, now I'm about to go... Actually, I want to taste this wine here that I got for my birthday. I still haven't opened it yet. It's Stella. Y'all already know. <laughs> but it's blueberry. And I have never tried the blueberry flavor. So we're going to try that now on camera, actually. And ignore my hoodie. Actually, don't ignore my hoodie because it's black owned. And it says God's plan is greater than my plan. You feel me? I'm going to tag the, um, the store down below. This is the same company that gave me my Growing Pains um, hoodie that I wear in my vlogs. The yellowish orangey one. It's like gold, really. But, yeah. And the uh, the one where the shirt says, get your fat ass up. Same company. So, it's my third thing from the company. But he just dropped these hoodies. So, I had to go support. You already know. Money out of my pocket. It don't matter. Going back into our community. Period. Now I'm about to go drink the Stella Rosa. I wonder who the CEO of Stella Rosa is. It literally smells like they just pumped a blueberry in here. Not pumped a blueberry. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I have my arsenal up here of Stella Rosa. And I definitely drank all of these flavors. Um, but I would definitely say that between blueberry and... I want to say the pineapple. Between blueberry and pineapple are my faves. But green apple is good too. Green apple very much gives me um, Welch's sparkling apple cider vibes. But it has alcohol in it. So, I went to Target, as you can see, I got this, as you can see, we have a little friend, it's the next day, by the way, I don't think I said that, I'm tired, as you can see in my face, but, um, my sister is here for the entire weekend, so, yeah, I'm on sister duty, um, as you can see, we have a little friend here who wanted to make an appearance, I don't know why, it's not part of the schedule, but I guess... There was other things in my skin schedule. I don't usually have issues, but here we are. We have one here. So I saw this on people's um, YouTube channels. So I grabbed this from Target. It's a Mighty Patch. It's supposed to, it says, visibly shows it's working. Protects for faster healing, drug free, and non-drying. And it's 12 in here. I'm probably only gonna need two. Okay, hello, find my face. Yeah, I'm probably only gonna need two. Then I got some more face wipes. I already used one. I got some more foundation. And I got some concealer. Oh yeah. And toilet paper. But you know. Also, I needed more vitamins. So I got these. I'm taking these multivitamins. So yeah. Let me smell them. But I'm not taking them. I am going to start to take them. They smell good. But I like the brand. They're easy to digest. Because I get real sensitive sometimes. Not sometimes. I'm super fucking sensitive. All the time. Oh well. It smells like the Flintstone gummies. Or the Flintstone 
um, vitamins if you used to take those as a kid. That's all I got from Target. Now I'm about to clean my room, take a shower, and yeah, take my wig off. Get the lighting. Okay. So me and my sister are in the bed on Saturday doing nothing, eating pizza. Two boxes of pizza. And y'all know, this vlog has been mad choppy because I suck. Mm. <laughs> That's all. But now, today, I had plans. Plans are not happening anymore. I did film though. I made sure to film. I did good with that. And now, I'm pretty sure my sister is going to play the game all day. And I'm just going to sit here and watch YouTube all day. Yep. But tomorrow, we getting out of the house because we got a birthday party to go to. You mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need to wrap the present before we go. But it's not until 2. So, again, I can do everything tomorrow. <laughs> what do you got? Hmm? You were looking up with it. I thought something was on my ceiling. No, I gotta fix my braces. Uh, well, I'll be doing this for the next 30 minutes, so if anything fun happens mm -hmm. or anything I decide to tell y'all, I'll pick the camera back up. Look what the cat drugged in. Not the cat. <laughs> Jasmine's on the phone. Jasmine's always on the phone. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Damn, I was about to make a never have I ever. <laughs> so, our Tipsy Tuesday topic for this week is men. Niggas to planning discuss. dates. It ain't falling through. Niggas begging. Niggas, niggas don't follow through. Unless he, unless he died. There was an accident. Nah, 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 nah. Niggas will beg, beg, beg years and years to go on a date with me. I finally be like, cool, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it. You don't set nothing up. You don't, you don't up. set nothing up. It's, oh, you want to come over? Coming to your house is not a date. You know what? We're going to save it for the Tipsy right. Tuesday. Tipsy not, Tuesday. Good morning. My sister is playing music in the background. But I'm about to do a quick makeup look because it's 1 30 and yeah, it's 1 30 and I am going to go to Sahara's son's birthday party. So I'm gonna do my brows, complexion, lashes, and we gonna go. I am in, I'm in a channel orange type of mood. Let me get my phone. YouTube, Frank Ocean, Channel Orange, yep. Hey, 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 But I ain't even touching a while I've had shows Shut up It's been my place Ooh, ooh, I'm mad I didn't take y'all in the store with me, honey Because the cashier is asking for my number He said I look beautiful today And does it out Sir, I'm not used to being on the streets I have a headache because I'm hungry motion at my front door. Hey, TT. Hey. I see you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat. I went in there for a bag and tissue paper so I can put the toy in here that I bought her son. So her son, that's where we're going to the party. I don't know if I told y'all. Okay, but more able to be... 
<laughs> um, now I need to go to where's the Dollar Tree bag? Can you give me the um talkies? Thanks. It's such a little bag. It was so cute. <laughs> Thank you. So let me readjust my seat. I will holler at y'all when I get Jazzy, Jazzy Faye. You feel me? Wow. Alright. See y'all. Oh. Oh. Cause he never We're does dead. it back. That's gonna be my baby daddy right there. You heard that. Y'all heard that. Got you. Oh, okay. We can take two more. I do what do what do what do what do. How about he break? How about he fixes break? Is it cold outside? I don't know. I don't even know if we're staying outside. That's my thing. Oh, it is hot. You can take this off. You got time for you Hot to my lane. Hot to my lane. Baby, maybe. Right, let's go. So, this is our, you know, PJ Mask theme party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! Little <laughs> one. Yeah, he almost fell. He almost fell earlier. Just, you know, living his best life. But he's actually very sick. Thank you. Okay, everyone. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Jasmine, give him that. children amen to motherhood but i love being a mother and i love my son everyone knows that i love my son <laughs> um so yeah just thank you everyone for coming so we're gonna go ahead and sing happy birthday to a two-year-old who doesn't even know it's his birthday <laughs> happy birthday to you <laughs> you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday get gas every Sunday so that I don't have to get gas during the week. I can just go back and forth, back and forth. And then every Sunday get gas, you know? Especially because I am a single woman out here in these Atlanta streets. I like to eliminate the amount of times I have to go to the gas station. So, we fill her up every Sunday, and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. When I'm at the gas station, let me check get some BC powders. So, that's the only things that get rid of my headaches, unfortunately. I'm trying not to get my body hooked to um, BC powders because I don't want to get addicted to anything. But um, I just dropped Madison off. Sorry, Jasmine's texting. Gatorade. I've been stuttering a lot lately. Me and Jasmine both have been stumble. Uh, see what I'm saying? Stumbling on our words. I think I just need to slow down. My dad said I need to get my blood pressure checked because that might be why I 
keep getting headaches because it's not my prescription. Um, it's not my eye prescription. So, yeah, guys. It might be that I need more sleep because no matter what time I go to sleep, I wake up at 7. So, a.m. So, I don't know what that is about either. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's the fact I gotta pump my own gas for me, okay? Because the sky is staring at me. Okay. Pull it right beside me there, why don't you? Uh, he looks like my ex. You know, he did not just hop out the passenger seat like that. <laughs> Dang, come on. I gotta put 93 in my car, so I put $40 in it and it's only at $26 right now. Ooh, my head hurts so bad, but I bought some BC powders when I was in there. Okay, because this is not a game. Is that serious? Okay, it's about done. Wow. I've never heard the alarm on my car. Good to know. We're going to drive to the exit and see if the car wash is open. Yeah, we're going to see if the car wash is open, honey. Let's hope it is. Because I need it. My tires are black and Sahara's husband was talking about me. He was talking about me. He said, you know, I can paint your tires black. You ain't got to ride around. You know, they won't be a dusty black. They'll be a nice glossy black. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I ain't so hard out here for a single woman. <laughs> Jeez. I will go get my car washed if it's open today. And I'll hit it with the, uh, I'll hit it with the, um, I hit it with the um, tire shine if I can, if they open. Otherwise, let me talk about me and my dusty wheels now. <laughs> Close the. Yeah, I'm in the bed. It is 11 o'clock at night and I still have my makeup on. I don't know why. It takes me a while to take my makeup off. I'm about to do it now. Well, after I talk to y'all real quick, I am just. I am just um, laying here watching YouTube. Sorry, I got a weird text. Um, yeah. And I want to know what y'all want me to talk about. Where are you at? I want to know what y'all want me to talk about for Tipsy Tuesday videos. Also, I was sitting here thinking like about my life. And I'm like, wow, I'm 24 years old. Like, it really just feels like, yet, what did I just do? How did, how did Netflix just pop up just now? Because no one else is in here but me. And I literally paused my YouTube ch channel and the remote is not even by me. And it just jumped to Netflix. I know y'all heard that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about my life and I was like, I really don't want to live in Atlanta forever. Like, for real, for real. So, y'all drop me down some suggestions down below where y'all think I should move to because I really don't want to be here. Like, I really don't want to be here. If I was to stay in Georgia, it would not be anywhere near Atlanta or where I live right now. If I went to school in the city, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be accessible to anybody, to be honest. Like, I really just want to get away, you know? Everybody knows everybody here. And it's not that positive of an environment. Like, it will literally suck the life out of you if you live in Atlanta. Like, I don't like it. And y'all might not know this. I'm originally from Miami. I say it all the time, but people, I guess they don't hear me. Because I'm like, I'm not from here. Y'all think I'm from here. I don't know why. 
But, um, yeah, I got here in sixth grade, so I guess I can adopt it as my home. But I refuse to because I do not like it here. Anyways. So, yeah. Ideally, if I had no ties to Georgia at all, I would want to live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Or I would live in, like, the Lake Mary or... um like the Lake Mary or the Altamont Springs area of Florida. Yeah, like right outside of Orlando type. But, um, yeah. I just want to like a quiet neighborhood and like suburban streets and like, you know, not this. <laughs> but yeah, so... I'm going to take my makeup off. I just wanted to do a little quick rant real quick. And I don't really have much to talk about, nor do I have much going on. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know how much footage this is. I hope that it's more than 10 minutes <laughs> so that you guys are entertained. But yeah, this weekend I didn't do much. I did nothing yesterday, like at all. Tierpa came over and that was pretty much it. I went to sleep. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I need to get maintenance in here because my AC is on. I hear it blowing, but I don't feel the cold. And then when I go and check it, it says it's on 74. When I, I put it down to 68 to see if it'll get cold, and it's just blowing. Literally, it's just blowing. So I'm going to have to get maintenance in here to fix that. I don't really like people in my house when I'm not home because I won't be home. So, yeah, I got to put that work request in. And, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to take my makeup off now. And, yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. Bye.